What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel for today's video where I'm going to be showing you how to make this absolutely gorgeous and delicious candied mixed peel. Now as Christmas is fast approaching and yes it might be a little bit of a, a no-go word at the moment but as it is fast approaching I have been thinking about how I can make my Christmas cake more zero waste, my baking more zero waste in general and a really fantastic way to do that is to create your own version of shop bought products which is actually really really simple. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous candied mixed peel which you can give to your family and friends as little edible gifts, which you can store to use in your own baking. And these are just a snack for me, let's be real. So if you want to learn how to make this gorgeous candy mixed peel, please do keep on watching. Please don't forget to hit subscribe and also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Now let's get into the recipe. So for your candied mixed peel, you'll want two oranges and two lemons, preferably large oranges, and you'll want them unwaxed and also organic if possible. Some normal granulated sugar, a sieve and a large saucepan, a measuring cup to measure out that sugar, a chopping board, a sharp knife or a peeler, and a slotted spoon, which will make draining your peel that bit easier. After you've given your fruits a good wash, grab your knife or your peeler, whichever you're using. I found the knife to be the easiest way to do this and just start making long strips of that peel. It's okay if you leave a small bit of the fruit on, that won't make a difference. And also you can keep as much of that pith as you like because by boiling, you will actually lose a lot of the bitterness that you would usually find in the pith of citrus fruits. What's so interesting about making mixed peel at home is that there are a ton of different ways to do this. I just found this to be the quickest, most efficient zero waste method. So you can try other methods out there, but I genuinely think this is the least wasteful of them all. I hope it's not just me, but this is so satisfying to watch. <laughs> Do the exact same thing with your lemon and you'll end up with these lovely thick strips of peel. Just push them to one side and grab each individual peel. We're going to make long, thin strips. This just means that you have more control over what you can do with them when you're actually finished instead of being limited to small cubes. You have these lovely long strips that you can cover in dark chocolate. That's just one idea, but of course I would go for that one. So you're going to pop your lovely long strips into your saucepan and get some cold water. I used about three cups for this recipe. It's quite hard to give you exact measurements because it will depend on the size of your oranges and your lemons, but just make sure that your peel is nicely covered with water in the saucepan. Next, we're over to the hob and we're going to set these to boil. We want them to boil rapidly and then turn down the heat and simmer with the lid on for five minutes. This is the first boil and it's going to get rid of a lot of that bitterness from the pith. Strain off that water, but actually reserve it. That water is so lovely and citrusy. You can add it to a vinegar solution and you have some beautiful homemade cleaning solution. This recipe really is quite amazing when you think about it. You're creating food, you're using up scraps that you would usually throw into your compost bin and that lovely citrusy water will mask the smell of vinegar for any of those fussy people in your house that do not like the smell of vinegar when you're cleaning with it. So you can see that just after that first boil, it has become quite translucent, but we want to take it just a step further. And to do that, we're going to do a double boil. Repeat the same steps by covering your peel with cold water, bring it to the boil, reduce it to a simmer with the lid on for half an hour. The difference this time is that you're going to drain off and reserve that lovely cooking liquid. And to that, we're going to add about one cup of sugar. Essentially, what we're creating is a lovely sugar syrup to coat your mixed peel. Give it a quick stir and add it back to the heat if necessary to dissolve that sugar. Back to the heat, add your mixed peel and simmer again for another 30 minutes. It seems like quite a lot of steps, but you're almost there. Make yourself a cup of tea and put your feet up for half an hour. When your half an hour is up, you're going to drain it one final time. 
and you can see that a lovely sugary syrup will have formed there actually won't be that much liquid left over and you can see just how much it has changed in texture and in color they're almost translucent at this point lovely pliable citrusy peel and now it is time to dry them out now you can do this two ways one way is to pop them into the oven on a low temperature for half an hour but because we're zero waste I avoided the oven I lay them out in the open so that the air could dry them naturally just make sure that air can circulate around them and it did take quite a while for them to dry maybe about 12 hours but it was worth it to avoid that oven and just look how glossy and gorgeous they are I also reserved that lovely sugary orange syrup to use in bakes later on and there you have it folks you have the most gorgeous candied mixed peel to give to your family and friends as fabulous zero waste gifts or to use in your own baking at home this will keep in the fridge for about three weeks I went ahead and I dipped some of those long peels in some dark chocolate and oh my goodness you will absolutely love it I also went ahead and chopped up some of that peel really finely and I will use this in my Christmas cake this year and then I left some long pieces to use for whatever my heart desires and that is it everybody it really is as simple as that and you have your own gorgeous diy gifts ready to hand to your family and friends and also ready for your own snacking now if you did like this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up also please don't forget to hit subscribe for many more of these videos coming your way and thank you so much for watching i look forward to seeing you in my next video bye